How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. As I'm sure you're aware, I always like to cover leaks on this channel. Leaks are usually things that have been found within the Horizon 5 files that aren't in the game yet. However, when it comes to leaks, it's very important to actually verify that they are legitimate. Find the source. Where did this leak come from? How has it been found in the files and is it legitimate or not? That is something I always try to do before I cover a leak on this channel. This is to give all of you guys realistic expectations about what to expect in the future. Now I need to talk about this today because lately there have been a lot of fake leak videos going around on YouTube. Just videos that have just been showcasing fake leaks and getting people's hopes up about what cars may be coming in the future. And we really don't want false hope in the Horizon 5 community. I'm not going to say any names in today's video but I'm going to give you a few examples of just fake leaks that you really shouldn't be believing or getting your hopes up about. And then I'm going to show you exactly where all of the leaks usually come from and who the sources are and how they find these this information within the files just trying to educate you all on leaks in general so you know what to believe and what not to believe now as i said all of the leaks come from the forza horizon 5 files and there are a few people in the horizon 5 community that are just known and they enjoy going through the files and looking for leaks and these people tend to be a part of the reddit community or the gt planet community you will occasionally see posts on reddit and gt planet of these new leaks that these people find these are reliable sources because these people actually prove that this information is in the files. They provide screenshots and information about where it all came from. And these are what I cover. I regularly go through all of these forums, find this information and give it to my audience on YouTube, which is a bit bigger. As I said, I'm not naming anyone, but there are quite a lot of videos going around lately, thumbnails on screen right now, of leaks that just don't have any credible source to them and looking at the comments on these videos quite a lot of you guys actually do believe them and take them to be real and get your hopes up and i need to reiterate guys if you guys watch any videos like this including mine make sure that you make sure there's a source a reliable bit of verification that these leaks are legitimate if these videos are just music with car images popping on the screen with no voiceover whatsoever it just doesn't look very reliable and real especially when there's absolutely no information about where these cars came from or where the leaks are from at all and these are the videos that are potentially fake and give all of you false hope now there are tons of cars in these videos which are not in the files there's no sign of them whatsoever and there's no reason to believe they will ever be coming to horizon 5 anytime soon they still might just by chance but we can't be having them in leaked car videos when there's just no proof of it whatsoever. If you're into leaks and stuff like that, I highly suggest joining the Reddit community and the GT Planet community because this is where lots of the information pops up and it's very interesting to see just how this is found. And then by doing this, you can get realistic expectations about what might be coming to the game in the future. As I always say, leaks are not definite, it's just potential stuff that might come in the future. Now this is a proper source, this is something that you know goes deep into where it was found, how it was found and if we will potentially ever see these in the game. These are the things to believe, not the silly YouTube videos that just have pictures with no context whatsoever. This is one of the pages here that Kelpie made and he basically just breaks down all of the leaks. We can see that the first section is unused thumbnails. Now obviously there is a thumbnails file within the files which just contains thumbnails of tons of cars within the game and you know this guy narrowed them down and spotted ones which aren't actually in the game yet. These 12 thumbnails here are cars that aren't in the game yet but are in the Horizon 5 files as thumbnails, images, actual images in the files. If we scroll further down we get to the unused wheel textures. This is a different kind of leak in a different file. As we can see in the media slash cars slash library slash textures dot zip file we get all sorts of wheel textures and suspension textures and stuff like that. Obviously there's tons of textures in these files from Horizon 5 and Horizon 4 but then there are leftovers which aren't in the game yet. As you can see, he just provides an example of some textures which are found that are cars that don't exist yet, such as the 2018 Audi RS5, the BMW M8, the Mercedes AMG GT4 from 2018, just a bunch of cars that you know aren't in the game yet, never have been and could be in the future. He narrows them down and shows proof that these leaks exist. 
And then if we go further down, he shows, you know, cars that are in the files that just have a bit of data about them. You know, there's no images of these cars, there's no textures, but the names exist within the files, the data exists. A bit further down, everyone knows about the Mercedes AMG One Forza Edition. It's a Forza Edition car that isn't in the game, but it sort of is. We're not going to cover that, that's not really a leak. A bit further down, he covers the barn finds as well. He says that recently there have been unused video files showing the sign language interpretation of dialogue in the game. From these files, three additional barn finds were found. So he's gone into these sign language video files and found video files that are about barn find vehicles that aren't in the game yet, such as the Fiat, the Ferrari and the Hearst shifters. These are cars we've all covered before, but we've never gone into the specifics about where and how these cars were found. And now we know. Now leaks don't always come from the files, they sometimes come from other social medias and just, you know, word of mouth. For example, Blue Ridge Mercedes, the vehicle garage that allowed Playground Games to scan the Mercedes AMG Hammer, they commented on a YouTube video basically saying that when Playground Games were scanning their Mercedes AMG Hammer to add it to the game, they also scanned three other cars as well, such as the 2006 Mercedes-Benz E55 AMG Wagon, the 1993 Mercedes-Benz 500E, and the Mercedes-Benz AMG Hammer Wagon. Three vehicles that Mercedes themselves have told us that Playground Games scanned for the game. A bit further down, he talks about how that there are actually, you know, manufacturers in the game credits that aren't in the game yet, are they due for the future of Horizon 5? Doesn't really mean much, but it does mean that there is a possibility that we will get these in the game in the future. The possibility is there, and we have the source to where it comes from. And then further down, there are different types of ways to get leaks as well. You may remember in the Horizon 5 Series 4 trailer, the 2010 Porsche Boxster S was spotted, and that car's not in the game, but it's been spotted in the trailer, so it's safe to say we might be getting that in the future. And then further down we have the Pagani Huayra that was spotted on an official TikTok post by Forza Horizon 5 themselves. Again, a very reliable source. That's what matters, just having reliable sources. There is a difference between me showing you this and you going on Instagram, for example, and seeing a post that says, oh, the Pagani Huayras might be coming to Horizon 5. Why? How do you know that? How do you know it's coming? When is it coming? You know, there's no information behind it. Deep diving into why and how this leak was found is how you can make a realistic expectation about whether it's coming or not. Now there is actually a page for Forza Horizon 4 as well and this one's quite interesting because you might remember at the beginning of Horizon 4 there was a huge list of cars leaked and apparently coming to the game and it ended up being quite accurate. As you can see here, all of these cars on the left were leaked before they were added and as you can see on the right, quite a lot of them ended up being introduced in an update at some point. As we scroll down you'll see that it's probably over half of them were added eventually. Over half of the cars leaked were found. So as you can see, when you look into it properly, it is quite easy to find where these leaks come from and quite easy to you know, get a real opinion on it or whether it's true or fake. And that's what I urge all of you guys to do. If you really are into leaks and enjoy knowing about potential upcoming stuff, don't get your hopes up before you find the sources, if that makes sense. I try to include the sources in everything I talk about. I at least show screenshots and stuff like that. If you see a video on YouTube that's not doing that or a post on Instagram, for example, see if you can find the source as to whether it's believable or not. Bit of a random video today, but I thought I just wanted to talk about it because it has been quite annoying lately to see how much people are just believing when there's just no proof of anything being real at all. So if you've enjoyed this video, guys, please do consider subscribing to the channel. As I said, I try to do reliable videos on leaks in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already for more Horizon Fire content, and I'll see you all later.